Hey everyone, Evan here, and in this video we're going to be doing EFT tapping on the feeling of being lost. Feeling lost without a sense of direction or purpose, not knowing where to go or where to start. You might start tapping now even just as I start talking about this briefly. That feeling can come out of nowhere because your life can change suddenly and dramatically. That feeling can be with you for a long time. You might feel as though you've never really had a sense of clarity, a sense of direction, a sense of where we're going. In fact, with all the information we have right now available to us, here's a way you can start an online business. Go to school. Don't go to school. Here's everything you could ever want to learn on Google or Udemy or whatever. It's actually overwhelming. It can feel lost in a sea of too much. So just give yourself a moment to take a deep breath and connect to how it's ever appearing for you. Is it overwhelm? Is it confusion? Take a moment to feel how it feels in your body as well. If it feels safe for you to get connected to your body, just see what that lost, looking for something feeling, what it does for you internally. So bringing some awareness to all of this before we tap can help make it a little bit more specific for you. So now side of the hand, even though I feel lost, I choose to love myself anyway. Even though I feel lost, I choose to accept myself and the fact that I feel this way. Even though I'm feeling lost, I'm not sure where to go. I don't know what to do. I don't even know what it feels like to have a sense of clarity and purpose. Or maybe I did and I lost it. And that might hurt even more. Confusing, overwhelming, not sure where to go or what to do. Even though I'm feeling lost, I choose to completely and profoundly accept myself as I am and what I'm feeling. And I choose to love, honor, and accept myself as much as possible. Through the points now, I feel lost. I just feel lost. There's so many things I could do. Theoretically, there are so many things I'm told I'm supposed to do. I'm told I'm supposed to want. I'm told I'm supposed to work hard for. But maybe someone else is telling me, no, just chill out. Just do a lot of inner work on yourself. Then everything's supposed to just come to me. But I'm not sure if that's working either. I'm not sure it's clear what to do with that. And because there's so much out there, I'm going to allow myself to try something different. I'm going to turn my attention to myself, to what I'm feeling. And I want to notice if I can feel lost, if something within me is communicating a sense that we are missing some direction or purpose, or that we don't know where to go, let's put our attention on that feeling. 
Because if we know what it is to feel lost, then something within us knows what the opposite is. Part of how we know pleasure is that we've experienced pain. And so whatever in me is feeling lost and confused. Maybe within that lives the opposite. So what would it feel like to be found? Can we even imagine it? We know this feeling of lost. And rather than trying to find some external thing or person or teaching, we look to that feeling of lost and ask the question, what is the opposite? What would the opposite feel like? Have I ever known for sure anything about myself? Is there one thing I can say, yeah, I know that. I know that to be true. Or I know I love that person. Or I know that matters to me. There's something I know I like to do. And maybe that's been trivialized. All the messages I've gotten that may have told me that those things, those goals or dreams, those passions and interests that felt right in my heart were criticized or diminished, unrealistic, or just shot down. All those times I've been shot down All those times I've been forced to deny what I truly feel, to minimize what I truly love or believe in, allowing myself to let go of those messages, those feelings in my body. If I don't doubt it, if I'm allowed, given permission and validation to say, here's one thing, here's something I clearly want. I know this matters to me. I'm going to allow myself to lock into that, to breathe into that. I do not have to discover my entire life purpose. That's a concept. If there is such a thing, it would be something I can feel. So I'm going to keep connecting to that. The most direct path to feeling like I'm clear, like I have a meaning or purpose, is to find anything that I feel that clarity towards, anything I have that confidence in, because that feeling, that knowing, that's solid.
that's clear. I allow myself to have more of that. I allow myself to focus on whatever it is that gives me clarity. It says, that matters to me, no matter what anyone else thinks, no matter what anyone else says. This matters to me. And I allow myself to go there. And even stay there. Okay, take a deep breath. Hmm. Interesting to me where that went. And it's something I encourage often is that to not, we're not always just focusing on, okay, I gotta clear this, I gotta clear this. But to find anything today in your life that you can find some connection to that gives you a sense of, oh, this matters to me. It can be the smallest thing. It can be the smallest game, right? It's an emotional experience that you're connecting to. So remember, you are not a repair project. Inner work is to help you enjoy your life and discover more of yourself, not to endlessly fix an ongoing problem because you are not a problem. So look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks.